Hey everyone, welcome to my guide about my magic find barbarian, also known as Trav Circa or Trav Orca. Uh, the name comes from the ability item find, which is the core and main ability of this build. I get basically double the chance for loot, which makes it so incredibly efficient. I don't exaggerate when I say you will get bombarded with high runes and valuable loot. I will explain that more in an example run for everyone who never played a barbarian like that. Feel free to make use of the timestamps if you want to skip around the video. While this is not a gold find barbarian in particular, I'm still sitting at around 700% gold find. That makes it so I can gamble for circlets and amulets all the time. I accumulate so much gold with this build, it gets almost to a point where it annoys me sometimes. This is a very unique barbarian playstyle and suited especially for people who don't want to play the game for 12 hours a day in order to get rich. In this guide, I will provide you with the budget setup, as well as the endgame best in slot setup, a min-max skill tree and the stat point allocation. With that being said, let's get started. So let's talk about the gear. Um, most people are probably interested in the items. The very most important part of the build is grief. That's where all the damage comes from. There are budget alternatives to this. More about that in a second. Um, this is where all the damage comes from. Uh, as you've seen in the intro, you just one two or three tap uh, those council members um, uh, with Berserk, that's magic damage, so yeah, they, they, they don't stand a chance. Um, another important note about this build and about Grief is you need 42% attack speed in order to reach the highest attack speed breakpoint for the main attack, for Berserk, okay? So you achieve this by wearing literally any grief, like the worst, the worst possible road grief is still decent in combination with high lords and in combination with gold rep. If you don't have high lords right off the get go, which I promise you sooner or later you will find several high lords in Trev. Um, you can get IIS gloves, preferably some with magic find. But yeah, just to let you know, if you make your first grief, don't be disappointed if it only rolls 30% uh, IIS. It's still best in slot for you, all right? It doesn't make or break the build. If it's a min roll grief or like a max roll grief. Of course, eventually you want the GG gear, but the build works perfectly fine with a min roll grief, maybe, you can trade for a cheap one, because others will be uh, others will be like, damn, bro, that's a mineral grief. I'm gonna sell this to a car like I did. Um, yeah. So grief. High lords as an amulet. Um, plus skills are fairly important here. For um, defined item ability, right? More about that in a second in the skill tree. I'm wearing a Ariat. Um there, like there's so much setups possible. You could run a Shaco. You could run uh, a very good budget alternative is um, the Eye Care Helm because it has two sockets. You could put two toe passes in here. But yeah, like the setup I'm showing you right now is in my humble opinion, after countless hours farming traff with this build, I leveled this character from. 75 to 90 exclusively in uh, with draft runs <clears throat> so i had plenty of time to figure out which setup is the best in my in my own opinion okay like you do you but yeah grief high lords ariots with an ist for magic find um storm shield with a jam rune to get cannot be frozen somewhere because you don't want the raven frost you absolutely do not want cold damage anywhere on this gear not even not even one to cold damage on a small charm this would totally mess up the whole theme of the build because there's a chance to shatter the enemy to ice cubes and if that happens you cannot item you cannot use find item on a on like some ice cubes right so storm sheet with a champ for cannot be frozen um, i'm wearing skaldas you could use enigma if you want um, I just wanted to wear an ethereal, almost uh, max defense uh, Skaldas. I think I even upgraded this once, I guess so. Uh, gloves, laying of hands. 
for the fire resist mainly and for the damage to demons. A dwarf star for the fire absorb mainly and uh, more gold fight. Gold wrap, attack speed, magic find, gold find, uh, the BK ring, plus skill, and some life. War travelers. And two blades of Alibaba with two Istruins each. To have around 600 magic find when I use a uh, find item on a dead monster, right? So let's talk about the stats real quick. Um, you can pump this you can pump this up way more. Uh, you can get way more magic find and or way more gold find. Like that's all personal preference, right? That's all up to you. Um, but yeah, in the kill switch, so to say, like I knocked them out with grief. I have 300 magic finds. And when I use find item, when I loot them a second time, basically, I have doubled it. I have uh, a little bit more than 600% magic find, which is an insane amount. Um, I've never played a sorceress or something like that with that high magic find. Um, yeah. This is particularly um, for Trev, right? Like, that's... You you live in Trevinkel. That's what you do with this build. A Pit Circa would be a whole nother story. You would use Enigma for sure for teleport. And you would use uh, the two branches for IRS to teleport even faster to, to the Pit. That's not a Pit Circa. That's a Trev Circa. That's two different builds. Just, to, just wanted to note that. Um... Stat points, enough strength to wear the gear, of course. Enough dex to wear a faceplate, which is 136. And everything else into vitality. So that's the stats. Um, maybe I show my inventory real quick. Also just personal preference. Um, you can use whatever you want. Since I'm wearing Grief, and Grief has um, a poison resistance pierce, right? 24% in my case. I stack up a bunch of uh, uh, poison damage, small charms. Scale is very well with Grief, by the way. And everything else is magic find. Those are all 7 percenters. Those are all seven percenters, of course. Uh, torch and an any. Uh, some grand charms uh, to max out uh, my resistances. I don't have a geats. Um, like real talk, it's too much gold. Like the, it, it, if I use a geats, there's too much gold dropping. Um, I only use a geats when I gamble. <coughs> when I'm stacked up with gold. I'm going to gamble for circlets and or amulets or rings or whatever. Then I'm going to put the geats in my inventory to reduce the vendor price. Um, you could use, there's a room word for a bow. I forgot the name, which will reduce the vendor price even more. But it, like, it doesn't make or break the build. And I don't even want to gamble even longer, right? So a geats, a geats is just fine. But <laughs> you could use the bow. I don't have it here. I think it's called Edge, if I'm not wrong. I think the bow, the bow rune verse called edge, which which will re reduce the window prices even more. But yeah, um, I don't have a TP uh, book here because why would I? This character goes to the waypoint, jumps to the council, one shots council, and that's it. I leave the game and make a new game. So there's no need for me to use a TP scroll book. Um, if you want to min-max this more, I made a little mistake here. So the Cham rune should be in the helm and the Ist rune should be in the shield. Uh, the reason is, let's say they're all dead. And you switch to your Hork setup, to your find item setup. Sometimes there's like a little shaman in the background who casts Blizzard. The moment I press W, I have no cannot be frozen in my build. So it's a little bit of a fail, but I didn't bother to change it. Like it is what it is, okay. But yeah. 
So that's the, so to say, expensive min-maxed gear. Um, you could use chance guards for more magic, fine, whatever, okay? As I mentioned, I leveled this character from 75 to 90, exclusively killing the council. And this is the combination of items I found is the best, all right? Um, another note on this gear is, all these items, every single is true. Everything, every small charm is found in the council, from the council, excuse me. Like for people who like to play solo cell phone or whatever, this is the build for you. Like I'm not joking. Like it's so ridiculous. Um, now let's talk about the budget items, right? Because you don't have access to a low rune right off the get-go. Unless you're using third-party websites. Um, there's in my opinion only one budget variant. It's not budget budget, uh, but it's not a low rune. It's called Oat. And it requires a mall and a pull room. And I can show you a run real quick with this weapon instead of grief. Okay. Um, it is viable. It's the best viable options. It's the best viable option. But you want, if you trade for something, if you really farm up for something, get grief first. Like, your helm doesn't matter, your armor doesn't matter. I, like, get grief first, believe me. So, let's do a run real quick with uh, Oat. So, buff up, right? After this, I'm gonna show you the skill tree. Because there are some noob, tab, noob, noob traps to be, avoid, uh, to be avoided within the skill tree. Jump, jump, jump. If you play hardcore, be careful with the jump, uh, because you get a rubber band effect uh, often here. That's what I'm talking about. So, would be not that great to die like that in, on hardcore. But as you can see, they die fairly quickly uh, for not having a weapon, uh, which is expensive, right? No high rune required uh, so far. Of course, when you do this with level 75, you should stack up uh, regional potions. So you can just heal up with the press of power. But that would be a run without grief. Then you use item find. Um, since loot filters are not allowed in this game, like there is so much loot dropping, you could do a little trick. Um, you press F to zoom in. So you can see the loot better, so you don't miss any runes. You could also go to the options and Turn every sound down and only turn up the drops. So you hear when a, when a high rune drops. Well, <laughs> well you, you can hear when a rune drops at least. So that's the run without grief, right? Not too bad, I'd say. Um, yeah, you should socket this in a battle rock blade. That's the best option because you can wear this already with level 53. Let's check out the damage with Grief. So buff up again, right? Jump, jump, jump. That's it, they're all dead. Use find item. In my case, and if you rebuild this character, it's a 75% chance to get loot again. And since these guys are boss monsters, they have an insane loot table. You cannot find everything here. This is not a T85 area. So forget about finding Tyrael's Might or Griffins here, not gonna happen. But you can find pretty much everything else. Don't sleep on like blue jewels. If this hits like a 1540, you are set and done with your account. Just to show you the difference, right? Budget weapon. 
high-end weapon. Um, it took me exactly 28 runs in order to find a low room. So I started with level 75 and out. 28 runs later I had grief. And yeah. After that, like I found one after another. Um, the only item I traded for is Skulders and Wardraffs. I found lower Magic Find Wardraffs before. And I found several Skulders before, right? But for, I don't know, for style points or whatever. <laughs> at a certain point I traded for an ethereal one because it looks cool. And I traded for a 50% uh, boots because it's more magic find. But yeah, all the stuff is self found just from tr from draft. I used to laugh at people who play a magic find barbarian, okay. But I got taught the lesson, so... <laughs> um, and I said in the intro that... I, I was saying saying in the intro that you don't have to play the game for 12 hours in order to get rich. Let's say you have 20 minutes a day on the evening to play this game. If you do consistently just run after run after run, next game, next game, next game, for 20 minutes a day, you will find more loot and you will be, you be, you will be richer than someone who plays the game 10 hours a day. Like hands down. That's how ridiculous is this build. Um, let's talk about the skill tree. So, <clears throat> again, there are several variations of this build. I can show you what I use. So, the main attack is Berserk. So, I'm gonna max this, 20 points here. That's it. Done for the combat skill tree. Of course, one point in here. Uh, one point in Leap. If you have Enigma, you don't need Leap. But yeah, 20 Berserk. Hits like a truck, deals magic damage, so you will never have an issue um, when they spawn with stone skin or physical immune. You just one shot them, more or less. Combat masteries, since grief is made in a sword, 20 points into blade mastery. Uh, one point in those two. And one point in iron skin, one point in natural resistance. Um, I respect at a certain point, so when I started out, when I started farming, I had more points into natural resistance to help out a little bit with the fire res, because with level 75 and like barely capable of killing them, um, this can help tremendously. But that's up to you, right? Like in the end game setup, there's only one point. War cries. Now the important skill tree. Um, 20 points in battle orders. One point in each of those. One point in battle command. And you have find potion. And you have, have find item, right? You will probably never ever use find potion. But it's a synergy to find item. And for whatever reason, I don't have a token here. I would respec and show you this right now. But be careful when you spec into this. Uh, what I mean is... At the beginning, at the first few points, the synergy bonus of Find Potion uh, gives you actually more chance for the Find Item effect as if you would max Find Item right away. Okay, So maxing Find Item and then the synergy would be wrong, so to say. Um, yeah, depends on your gear, of course. It depends on your plus skills and on your setup. But if you want to spec into this, you put one point in the find item, then you fill up points in find potion until you don't get a two or three percent progress no more. All right. When it says um, next level, it's like only from 73 to 74. Then you start pumping up find item with hard points. That's what I recommend to you. Um, yeah, and with like decent gear and stuff and like battle orders buffed up. I have a 75% chance to loot them again. And yeah, since they are boss monsters, <laughs> right next to a waypoint. Like compare it to, I compare it to a chaos run, right? If I would do a chaos run with whatever build, could be as, it doesn't matter. Like even when my 125% key farm bone necromancer is not as fast. I have to pop the seals. I have to kill Diablo. Diablo is only one boss monster, only one loot table. Um, I cannot use find item on Diablo, so 
this in comparison with Travinkle. I don't know how many of those guys are, like is like seven or eight or nine boss loot tables, and I can loot him again with a 75% chance. Yeah, this accumulates a lot of wealth in a very short amount of time. You get the raw drops, of course, high runes. A uh, magic find has no effect of high runes, that should be self-explanatory, but I mention it for anyone who is like not a big magic finder or whatever. Um, not only do you get like just the drops, you can hork them again, and on top of it, if that's not if that's if that's not even enough already, uh, you get so much gold that you can gamble all the time. You can gamble like a mofo. Like it's as as I mentioned in the intro, it almost gets annoying. Like it's too much gold. Good morning. And if you can imagine, if you have billions upon billions of gold to gamble all the time, like it takes you. I don't know, maybe 30 to f not even 30 runs and you are maxed out on gold in your stash and then you go gamble. You gamble, I recommend um, helmets, <clears throat> like coronets and stuff, circlets and or rings and amulets. And I sold countless of circlets for vex runes, sewer runes, low runes, depending on the role of course, right? You're looking for uh, plus skills and faster cast rate, faster run walk, all resist mainly. And yeah, that's another source of getting rich with this build. The runs take literally seconds. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Leveling with this build? Forget about it. Unless you hate yourself. Um, if you want to level, if you wanted to level this, I, I leveled this character with. Um, I was a singer bard. <clears throat> I was using the um, the battle cry and war war cry, the one who deals damage. But it's a pain, okay? Like starting <laughs> starting about starting a ladder with a barbarian is always a pain, but it's highly rewarding. But yeah, that's the build. That's how I get rich. That's how all the pros do it. Um. Like I'm not joking. Like item sellers probably hate this build, or they even use it by them own. But like they, they they use it with their bots or whatever. I don't know. Um, I can highly recommend. Like as I mentioned, I was making fun of people who were using a magic find barbarian in my world, right? Like, bro, what magic find a barbarian? A barbarian should be a killing machine. Like, give him two grief, give him a bot day, give him last wish, make a frenzy barb, clap ubers. Yes, you can do that, but. It's utterly efficient to do magic finding uh, in Trevinkel. Um, after playing this build countless hours, I'd say it's a must-have. Like if you, if you, I would not say take the game serious. Like the game is just for fun, right? But if you're someone who want to min-max, and if you're someone who like wants to get rich in every ladder as fast as possible and so on, you not only should have a sorceress, but you should have a Trevi hawk above. Like. No joke. Yeah, with that being said, um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments below. Fairly simple build, right? Very fun playstyle. <laughs> Even though you just clap them with like a basic attack. But it's a very fun playstyle. Very, very, very rewarding. You will find so many items. Like this stuff is all self-found. Believe it or not. With that being said, thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, um, yeah, have a good one, later!